What is the Asus Cerberus V2? Gaming headsets from big brand computer companies are all the rage again, and Asus has re-entered the mid-range market with the Cerberus V2. It faces tough competition from the likes of HyperX, but with its stylish design and good audio quality, this is a top-notch stereo headset for those who want to step up their gaming audio without breaking the bank. Asus Cerberus V2, Design, Build and Comfort The Cerberus V2 comes in three color combinations. You can choose black with blue, red, or green, so whether you're a fan of Intel, AMD, or Nvidia, your loyalties are very much covered. Asus sent me the green set for review and they're certainly more distinctive than other headsets in this class. The headset takes the form of a metal band that holds the lot together, a faux leather padded strap for weight distribution and fitting, and two ear cups that are mostly made from plastic. It doesn't look cheap by any means, although the black plastic ear cups are probably the biggest hint as to its pricing when you GE. Thanks to the slightly elasticated headband, there's no faff in adjusting this headset for your head size. Those with very large heads, however, might struggle to get this headset on because the fit is limited by the non-movable metal headband. The cups have little flexibility, meaning they can't be rotated to fit more easily into a bag. This is something the HyperX Cloud Stinger manages for 10 pounds less, but that headset is also quite a lot smaller and designed for traveling, where the Cerberus V2 is very much a stay-at-home headset. Fit is tight enough, and I'd be happy walking around with this headset on, plugged into my phone. Comfort over long periods is pretty good. The faux leather ear cup pads do a fine job of keeping sweat away, and the cups themselves are large and airy enough to prevent overheating. Asus Cerberus V2, Audio and Microphone a robust build only goes so far, and top-notch audio quality is a must for a 60 pounds headset. Fortunately, the 53mm drivers are more than half decent, and put in solid performances in both games and music. They tend towards slightly bassier performance than perhaps the keen audiophile would prefer, but for me the balance is just about fine. If you're after a more fine-tuned music experience, certainly take a look at a dedicated pair of wired or wireless headphones. From a gaming standpoint, I was very impressed. Playing hours of F1 2017, Codemaster's work on improving the audio of this game was immediately obvious. The low rumble of the curbs, the faint but useful sound of overstretched tires along with the impending threat of the motors of faster rivals all add to the immersion. Performance in more violent games is also excellent, I could hear threatening footsteps in Battlefield 1 multiplayer, as well as distant artillery fire in Men of War 2, all not only adding to atmosphere, but increasing my awareness.